everybody, it's Josh and Billy from Team Fair Flathead. Uh, today we'll be showing you how to catch brim on lures in the Brisbane River. So, um, firstly we'll be showing you how to catch brim on uh, hard bodies and then we'll be showing you how to catch brim on soft plastics. Alright, so I'll, I'm going to be chucking around a little um, prawn, soft plastic here. Um, these are really good if you see prawn, so you see prawns jumping around, jumping out of the water, getting scared by the predatory fish. So that this, this is a great replication for um, the bait fish that are around. Okay, so now for the demonstration with this little soft plastic lure. Alright, so what we're going to do, um, in these rocky, little rocky areas, brim tend to hang around the structure. So you just cast it up close to the structure, then the technique that you use, so this soft plastic's weighted, you just let it sink, and then you just give it small little hops as you go. And then um, while you're doing that, you give it a slow wind as well. This, um, it gives off a really nice movement in the water. Alrighty, I'll be showing you hard body lures. With hard body lures, they're really good for brim in sort of rocky areas. When you see a uh, little bait fish like potty mullet or um, herring, they're also really good to use. And when they're bouncing over the rocks, they use this bib here. Um, and that bounces over all the rocks and it stops it from getting snagged. Also, it has a really nice rattle to it. That also attracts fish when it's bouncing over all the rocks. Also, for brim, you want a hard body lure to be about 35 mils long, that's a perfect size for brim. And depending on what environment you have, you want a solid colour or a transparent lure. Alrighty, so when you're using these hard body lures, what you want to do is uh, find these little rocky areas like this, and then you can either cast towards structure further out, like pylons or bridges, and then bring it back slowly with a little twitch, uh, mimicking an injured bait fish. So that, that's one way to do it, or you can just slow roll it, so you just cast it out and just slow wind. One way is with the little twitches and one way is just slow wind. And then when you're trying to find brim, what you want to do is either look for structure like this uh, jetty here, or go along the banks where the rocks are. So pop it out near the rocks and just bring it back. My preferred method is the little twitch. Just, it, sh it just mimics an uh, bait, uh, injured bait fish a bit better. But yeah, anyway, it's just, anyway, it's good. And you, uh, you just want to bring it back over the rocks. And you want to feel your bib bumping against the rocks. If you feel that, it means that you're in the right area. And that's where all the room will be hiding down the rock crevices. All right, I hope you guys found this uh, video useful. If you use these techniques, it will um, definitely enhance your lure fishing techniques. Yep, if you like this video, also remember to like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. There <laughs> you go, mate. It's a bit slippery there, mate. Good on ya. And it just smacked it. Yep. Okay, one hook. Just pop the other ones out. Holding it tight? Yep. Got him. Just get me. Righty. A little brimbo, hold it up to the camera. Yep. There he is. Not too close. Alright, big chuck. Big chuck, ready? Yep. See you, mate. You. Wee. You.